Hello, my fellow YouTubers, and welcome to Random Thoughts from me, O Ted Bear. Today in Mysteries of Life Explained, at least in theory, where are all the nice guys? Actually, until I uh, talk to the ladies at the leasing office, I really didn't realize that uh, women were still interested. Well, what brought up this conversation was, not at the leasing office, but a different conversation, was who was the hotter chick in the movie True Lies, Jamie Lee Curtis or Tia Carrera? Now, Jamie Lee had that whole coming out of her shell boom thing going on, but Tia had that whole exotic bad thirst bad girl thing going on, which always tips the scales, let's be honest. Bad is exciting, and exciting gets a motor running. It's wrong. Actually, it's not wrong, but it's true. Now, how does this equate to finding a nice guy? Now, in the shadow of something that is ex exciting... The nice people tend to fall into the shadows and are overlooked. Just like Jamie Lee was overlooked by Arnold for most of the movie. Oh no? He didn't fight, he didn't notice her until the hooker dance, okay? Okay, the possible affair with the used car salesman may have been a factor of, in Arnold pulling his head out. Certain people are overlooked because because they can't be or won't do certain things with us, to us, uh, so on. Not to mention that I don't speak for women, I just speak for me. Not to mention that sometimes hints are simply missed. You know, that Long-legged vixen comes comes walking up to me and starts talking. My first thoughts aren't love connection. Okay? It is simply disbelief. You know, that whole she's out of my league, women like that don't come on to me. Unless they're, you know, well, actually they wouldn't come on to me because I have no money, you know. You know, nothing. Uh, you know nice does have its benefits. In emergency situations, people tend to believe you a lot more, you know. You're actually sorry for something that happened. You're really running late, you know, because of something real. You didn't just get too drunk last night. But a lot of times, nice is abused. Oh, you'll, be, you'll do this and not complain, so we'll just keep doing it. So, there comes a point when the nice have to decide whether whether, they're go whether staying nice is worth the heartache, it's worth the added work, or do they need to become something different? The clown, the renegade, the douchebag, in short, really betraying their truth. With this new round of sexual awakening, you know, there's still stuff that we don't feel comfortable admitting to ourselves. That we like these things, you know, these bad things. Or these nasty things, these kinky things. You know, those things that we enjoy, but it makes us a bad person. So we can't uh, do these things with nice people can't find nice people to do these things with, or we can't do these things with our significant other. What? She kisses my kids with that mouth. If we can just be honest with what gives us that leg-shaking, whole body turning to jelly thing, there is no reason you can't do that with a nice person. Well, I haven't been able to find a nice guy who's going to do that kinky stuff with me. First off, have you tried? Second off, 
nice guys, by our nature, are people pleasers. So if you have something that gives you that that toe curling experience, you might be surprised at what a nice guy will help you with. Now I've been asked, do I, would I really count myself as a nice guy? Yeah. You know, I, I've been a nice guy for a long time and will, will be for basically until the end of my days. The part that's shaky is whether being a nice guy is worth the work you put into it. And it all basically comes down to this. I would rather be loved for who I am than a persona I put on just to get laid. This has been Random Thoughts for me, O oh Ted Bear. Leave a comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and I just hope I helped.